Hey guys, Dill the Artist here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get live footage inside your Blender scenes, whether you need it for display on a monitor screen, or if you just want to use it as reference for a fight scene of whatever it is. Let's get into it. All right guys, first things first, you wanna ensure that you have actual footage or recording of the video you wanna bring it to Blender. Once you're satisfied, you wanna now open up Blender and let's get rid of this. I'm gonna press Shift A, go to Mesh, go to Plane, and I'm just gonna scale this to be uh, a similar aspect ratio of the footage I'm bringing in. So I can just go to the scale and just scale this. Just get it as close as you can, it doesn't really matter. Uh, everyone's gonna have different reasons why they wanna bring in footage. So many people may use it for uh, display on a TV screen or computer screen, or others want to use this as reference when um, referencing an animation. So that's what I'm actually going to be doing. So once you have this set to uh, something you want, uh, we can go to preview render here. And with this object still selected, we're going to add a material. So go to material properties, go to new, and then I'm going to add a new base color. I'm going to select this yellow dot, and then we're going to click image texture. Now we have to go to the directory where we stored that image or the video that we're going to be importing go to open and once you make your way to the directory where it's stored you want to select it hit open and quickly you see it's going to be displayed on here now there's a couple different ways we can go about getting the footage to be on here and the correct aspect ratio but first thing we want to do is uh, go to the shading tab and then we want to add a couple of nodes here so I want to Press Shift A, go to search, and I want to go into texture coordinates. Once you have that, slide that to the left, and let's press Shift A once again, and let's bring in a mapping node. And let's plug these in. So you want to plug in the generated to the vector, and the vector into the vector of the uh, video we brought in. Now what we can do with this slider here is, uh, size it up to match the way we want it to match. So first thing I'm gonna do is rotate this. So I'm gonna go to rotate and I'm gonna rotate this in the Z axis. So it's gonna be negative 90. And just in case the scale is off, you can change the scale as well. So you can scale this in the X direction if need be y-axis and z doesn't matter it doesn't it's not going to affect it because this is a 2d plane and once you're satisfied we can go back into the layout now right off the back if you press play nothing's going to happen and that's namely due to um, the frames so what you want to do is change the frames over here in the materials tab change the frames from maybe uh, 1 to 250. Depending on how long your footage is, you may need to extend that. So now we need to also check on auto refresh. So if we press play now, as you can see, we have our footage and it's playing on our 2D plane. And this is what we want. And say we do want to extend this and go a little bit beyond, even if we change the timeline maximum to let's say 1000 and we extend this and we press play it's still going to stop at 250 and that's because our frames here and our material only go to 250 so if we up this to 1000 to match the timeline now we can go beyond that limit so hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It was quick, simple, to the point. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up, comment, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.